Hey everyone, welcome to another live video. I'm out here in Yorkshire coast. Staying here for a couple of weeks. And as promised, we are going to do another live hot tub video as we discuss this topic. So here we go. Gonna head to the, the hot tub now. It's that time again. It's another Narc Survivor live hot tub video. I should just put my towel over here. Oh wait, no, it's kind of damp. Here's Nala the cat. You are live on YouTube, Nala. What do you have to say to everyone? Here we are in Yorkshire coast, live from the hot tub. Trying not to drop my phone. Okay, so 
Why don't narcissists leave you alone? Let's see what people are saying in the comments. SGN 2011. I'm dealing with one right now who is stalking me on social media and sending me his flying monkeys to spy on me. I had to delete everything because it was getting scary. Right. Callum says they don't leave you alone because they want to hurt you. When you discard them, they make it their mission to destroy you at all costs. That's so true, Callum. The way I see it is, Imagine you threw out a watch by accident. You just dropped it in the bin. You didn't realize it at the time. And it wasn't a very expensive watch. If you wanted to, you could easily go out and replace it. So, if you throw that watch in the bin, you're probably not going to go chasing after it. But now imagine if you f threw a very expensive watch in the bin. Maybe it was a Rolex. Or maybe it had a lot of sentimental value. If you throw that watch in the bin, you're probably going to be chasing down the road after the rubbish truck. You're not just going to let it go out of your sight. And in fact, the odds of you even losing that watch in the first place are probably going to be far lower than if you've got a watch that's just easily replaceable. And it's the same thing with these narcissists. You see, they know your value. They know how great you are. And that's why they can't just leave you alone. Thanks for the donation, David. Narcissists targeted you because you had value. You had significance. They knew what they were doing when they targeted you. And the way they're looking at it is, if they just let you go and move on with your life, it's like they're just letting this walk-in treasure chest just walk out of their lives. Because they know your value. It's like, they look at it like you're walking out with all of the potential, maybe all of the resources. You're walking away with everything valuable, which may rightfully be yours, but narcissists are entitled. If you're valuable and you're trying to get out of there, you're trying to move on, they're not just going to let you go. Because they see you as being the one who provides the value to the relationship. And they know that they need you. If they really didn't need you, they would just let you go. They would just leave you alone. You are very important to the narcissist. And that's why they can't just leave you alone. So that is really 
the main reason why they won't leave you alone is because they know your value. And the last thing they want to see is you moving on with that value without them because they already know they don't have any value of their own. Anything valuable that they get, it comes from you. And they're very jealous. They see it as though you're taking it away from them. They feel like they rightfully own you. And towards the end, they got to see you as a problem. And if you're just moving on and you're doing better without them, that's going to make them regret the decision. So then they can't just leave you alone. They've got to chase after you. They've got to try and sabotage what you got. So what's everyone else's thoughts on this? Why do you think these narcissists won't leave people alone? Jay says they don't want to see you happy. Definitely. Because if you're moving on and you're happy and you're doing well, that makes them regret things. It makes them think maybe they wrong, made the wrong decision. And a narcissist is not going to, they're not going to entertain that idea. They're just gonna do whatever it takes to sabotage you so they don't have to have that thought in their minds. Neo says they feel like they own you and want to ride the coattails. It's very true. They do see us as their property. St. Luger says they are negative people, but I also consider something else may be affecting them. There are tests in life, it seems. Definitely, they are negative. And think about, you know, what does negative mean? Like in mathematics, when you're taking something away. They can't just leave you alone because they want to take something away from you. Which means that you've got what they want. Jeanette says they are jealous and also create jealousy, division and strife. Very true. It's because they see us as their property. And when we try and get away, that makes them feel jealous then. As crazy as it sounds, they feel like we are taking ourselves away from them. It's like we're stealing our own body, mind and soul away from the narcissist. Donna says they need new gossip to keep friends entertained. Oh yeah, they love gossip. They love drama. They thrive in chaotic environments. 
Sophia says they are not finished with you mentally or emotionally. You are still doing well, they don't like that. Kiona says they are jealous people. Fruitful Lane is asking why does the narcissist feel jealousy? There is room at the table for all. Oh, if only narcissists had that mentality. If they did, they probably wouldn't be narcissists at all. Because the whole nature of a narcissist is that they have a scarcity mindset. They think there's not enough to go around, so they have to cheat, lie, and steal to get ahead. They have to throw you under the bus. Thanks for the donation, Nico. Nico says they get their kick from controlling something they know is more valuable than themselves. That's so true. They really do, you know. They want to control the thing that they are envious of. That's just how it is, you know. You should take it as a compliment when these narcissists try to control you. No one wants to control a bag of crap. When it comes to something valuable, like if you have an expensive item, a nice car, you're gonna to wanna to be in control of that. You don't wanna see that going anywhere because you know just how valuable it is. So when they try and control you, in some ways you can take it as a compliment. It should just remind you of your value. Sylvia says they want to keep us thinking about them so we can't move on. Definitely, I, I agree with that. It's like they can't attach to us, but they want us to attach to them. Give them supply. So many good comments here. Feel like everyone's on the same page here. Just enjoying a non alcoholic beer. The weather isn't the best here right now, it is raining a little bit, but I really want to make the most of this hot tub while I'm here. So how is everyone doing anyway? What stage are you at? How are things going on with the narcissistic relationship? Or have you managed to go no contact? Sunshine State is emotionally tired. Steven says, good to see you NS. I commented on your earlier video. They are ungrateful for things you do for them because they resent the fact that they are incapable of returning the favor. That's so true. They wanna keep you looking at yourself and thinking you're not doing enough because otherwise you'd look at them and realize that they're not bringing anything to the table. And then you'd wonder what you're even doing around them.
Human Cyborg says, my cousins have become the flying monkeys. And they're against me, but I can't go no contact with my cousins. What should I do? You've just got to go limited contact. If you can't go no contact, just limit the contact that you are giving to them. And remove any emotional attachment. Observe their actions, but try not to absorb it. Respond rather than reacting. And just keep your emotions under control. Don't invest too much of yourself emotionally because they will only manipulate your emotions and use them to take advantage of you. Nico says, left my narcissistic business partner one and a half years ago, second best decision of my life. Life is great now. That's great to hear, Nico. Sandra, no contact with mine in 18 months. Congratulations, Sandra, that's a great achievement. I'm sure it's something that will inspire many people here. T Prada, divorced five years. Every now and then I still feel grief. I'm determined to keep moving forward. SGN 2011. I have not got no contact. He texted me yesterday and this morning. He said he was looking for my desk at work to write me a love letter, but my office is locked. He texted me this morning a photo. Yeah, they will hoover you. It's because they know you've got something they want. A narcissist isn't going to go around anyone if they can't get something out of them. Anyway, it is getting late here. Probably not going to spend too much more time in the hot tub. There will be more premieres coming very soon. Another two tomorrow. I've been working on some really powerful videos lately, which will be coming up over the next few days. So look out for them. And if you haven't yet, do check out my Instagram, Narc Survivor YouTube. There will be pictures of my travels throughout the Yorkshire coast, as well as um, other cities and towns in the area. So yeah, if you haven't yet, check out my Instagram. It's Narc Survivor YouTube. Follow me, leave a comment. And also we've got the support forum on the website as well. Just head to www.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Click on the forum button and you can sign up there. And you can get support from other survivors. And I will also be answering your questions on there myself as well. So yeah, definitely check out the Instagram and the website. Thank you all for joining me out here in the Yorkshire coast, in the hot tub.